Hey, this is Joe Gilder from HomestudioCorner.com. I want to show you one of my absolute favorite features inside Studio One. Uh, this deserves its own video because it is so stinking cool. And it has to do with editing. Or as people call it in Nashville, pocketing. Essentially going in and fixing those timing issues that may be present in a recording. Where the part's a little early, a little late. It's for those, those times where... In the past, in old systems, you'd have to chop it up, move it over, turn snap to grid off, move it over, and then do something with this gap, like drag this back and then crossfade. So there were just several steps involved that made it a little bit annoying. Um, but it kind of a necessary process, and there wasn't a better solution. That was my workflow in Pro Tools. Now, with Studio One, uh, it's such a great, simple workflow. And I want to say real quickly... Yes, editing is a great tool. Don't let it be a crutch. For me, if the part is wildly out of time, I would much rather re-record it than spend a lot of time editing. For me, editing falls into the, there's a couple of notes that could be a little tighter. Let's do that. Let's address those. But otherwise, if you're doing an edit every bar on a recording, just re-record it or get rid of the part entirely. It's just not working, okay? So that being said, here's an electric guitar part that I recorded that's not in terribly good time, uh, honestly, Speaking of my own advice, I'm probably going to re-record this whole track because I, it was just an idea that I laid down, and now that I like the idea, I think I need to focus on playing more in time. But for the first part, it's fairly good until we get to right around here, around bar 41-ish, it starts to, to lag behind the beat a little bit. So let me, let, let me play it for you so you can hear what's going on. So this is the part here. Let me pan it to the center. Turn it up a little bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the first couple bars were fine, and then you can kind of even see the downbeat of bar 41. I was behind the beat, and I kind of just stayed behind. This little thing on beat 4 of that measure is also a little bit late and just not jiving with the kind of the, the very straight groove of the song. Listen to that one more time. So it's not bad, but you can see this one, this note right here is perfectly on the grid. Look at that. Boom. And then this one's behind, which is, that's kind of what I do. So what we're going to do, and I'm going to show you this great, great way. So, way of editing. So, one thing we can do, we'll switch Snap to Grid on, and we'll just separate this region. We'll hit, hit number three, switch to the knife tool. What do they call it? I never remember. The split tool. And we're going to split the audio here. And we're going to go until, to find the end of the, the distressed section, okay? So, for me, it looks like this note was late, this note was late, and also this one. So we're going to move all of those together. And I think we'll just split it right here and see what happens. Okay? So now, you may think it's, it involves moving this back, and then there's a gap in the audio here that we have to deal with. It's not nearly like that. It's as simple as holding down Command and Option. And you'll see, if you're holding over the, the, the audio itself, you'll see that the the symbol or the uh, the cursor changes. So that's with command. This is with command and option. You'll see it's got this left and right arrow thing. That allows us to move the audio without moving the edge piece of the audio. Watch what happens. Click and drag, and I am moving the underlying audio. The end points are staying in the exact same spot, but I can move this to get it more in time. So here's the original location. It's a little behind the beat. We can do this get it more on the beat. Now, you may say, okay, now the initial part of that note is behind. Well, we can drag this over to right here. Quick note, uh, we are in snap to grid mode, so it is snapping to our grid. I want to move this back, but not necessarily snap it to the grid. An easy way to do that is while I'm holding it, while I'm clicking on it and dragging it, press the shift key and hold that down, and it kind of disables the snap to grid for just a brief moment. So I can find that exact spot, which is right here here okay now let's go check the other end of this piece of audio and see how that looks not bad i think it's okay i think that note 
Okay, so you can see here, this and this, these are the same notes, right? We've moved it back, so now it's repetitive. We don't want that to be there. So we need to find kind of a middle ground. Does the note need to be there or does it need to be there? I'm guessing it needs to be there, which is closer to this grid mark right here. So we're going to move this right about here. Okay, now what's one more thing we should do? We should do some sort of a crossfade. Generally, there will be a pop in the audio if there's not a crossfade. In Pro Tools, the way I had to do this was click and click somewhere up here, I think, and drag in a crossfade. You can do that in Studio One. No, no, you can't. Because, and the reason you can't, is you literally just select the piece of audio and press X, and boom, there's a crossfade there. And look, there's a crossfade there, and there's also one over here at the beginning. It literally did a crossfade for me. That is super cool. Crossfade seems a little big. No, it seems fine. So now it looks like it's more in time. We can Now that we have the crossfades in place, we can hit Command Option again and move this even more to get it in line to where this one is absolutely in time. So now let's listen to that note and see how it's working. We'll go back a bar so you can kind of get a feel for the beat again. Okay, so now this at 41 felt, at least the downbeat felt right. Okay, now there's a couple things to fix within this. This note is a little early now. So what we can do is just kind of click around surrounding that note, hold down Command Option and move it, press X, and now we've got a new edit point. Let's listen to that. This one is perfectly in time now. We don't have to mess with that one. This one is now a little bit, it's a little bit early. So what we'll do is find a, a breaking, a good edit point, which is over here where it's quiet. And we'll literally just slide this feller back a little bit to where it's right in time. Press X again, we add a crossfade in. You'll notice there was already a crossfade here, so it just added one to the beginning. Now let's listen to that edit. So that's a, a, a crude, rudimentary example. It's not super great, uh, but you get the idea. We went from a fairly out of time part to fixing a couple of spots. And honestly, if I wasn't explaining it to you, I'd have that done in about 10 seconds, right? It's very, very quick and easy. It requires cut, cut, move, press X, and you're done. Really cool process. I love the way Studio One allows me to do this editing. I can just drag this around and this, the endpoints stay exactly where I want them. That will save you literally hours over the course of editing an album. So I hope you take advantage of that feature. It takes a little getting used to, but once you get used to it, man, there's no going back.